Have you lot ever wondered why the derivative of e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x? Let me prove it to you lot. Right. First things first, we got to establish the limit definition. That is a very important tool which, which we're going to use to solve for this. So it's basically the long version of a derivative. And we're going to prove it using the limited definition. So we're going to get right to it then. So derivative could be rewritten using the limit limit definition e to the power of x derivative of e to the power of x can be rewritten as a limit definition as shown on the screen right over here as you can see we replace the f of x function with e to the power of x next step is basically we're going to expand this basically using the laws of exponents and we're going to factor out an e to the power of x afterwards we're going to distribute the limit so essentially, we're going to have the limit as h approaches 0, e to the power of x, and then the limit as h approaches 0, e to the power of h minus 1 divided by h. So th there's an easy, so the first limit is pretty st straightforward to solve, right? That's just going to be equal to e to the power of x. We don't have a h term, so it's just going to be equal to e to the power of x. But however, this is going to not. This is going to require more brain power, as you can see. If we replace a zero into where the h's are, we we're going to we'll we will obtain a zero divided by zero, which, as you lot are very familiar with, it's basically an undefined. It's an error, basically. But there's a way to go past that and solve it. I'll show you lot the trick. Right, so that's the first thing, is we are established as a roadblock. Now, we know that the Euler's number could be expressed as a limit as the following. So this A term, Euler's number, could be expressed as a limit. And what we're going to try to do is try to convert this into this, basically. We're going to try to do a replacement into this limit, rendering it solvable. And I'll show you how you have to do it. So we're going to say that v is equal to e to the power of h minus 1. We're doing this so that we can make this limit look somewhat like this limit. And I'll show you in a moment how we do that. So obviously we're going to, what we're going to have to do is essentially try to solve for h. So once we do that, we take the ln on both sides and we'll obtain ln v plus 1 is equal to h. We're going to do this replacement into this limit right over here. So we're just going to replace the h term with ln v plus 1. And once we do that, we can rewrite the, the limit as the following. Notice it's not going to be h anymore because the h term, it, we don't have h terms in here. We've got v terms now, right? And, you know, v is, pro is proportional to, to h, essentially. Very important. So we can, you know, simplify this further. The e to the ln part basically cancels out. So you're just going to have v plus 1 minus 1. Obviously, these two cancel out, and what you're going to be left with is v in the numerator and the denominator of ln v plus 1. Right, so we're going to have to try and render it. We're going to have to try and make it look a bit like this, so we can do a replacement. Notice we can divide v on the numerator, and we could, you know, we could also do the same in the denominator. And when we do that, the numerator is just going to be 1, but we're going to be left with 1 divided by v in the denominator and using the laws of logarithmic functions you see this multiplication we got over here with 1 divided by v is multiplied along v plus 1 i could basically move the 1 divided by v as an exponent essentially ultimately we're going to be ending up with this and notice it really does resemble this and we can basically we write this as the limit as v approaches 0, v plus 1 to the power of 1 divided by v. And according to this definition we got over here, we can basically replace this limit, this section right over here, with e basically. And what we're going to be left with once we do that is basically 1 divided by ln of v. Ln of v in this case is 1, 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 and we're just going to be left with e to the power of x and that's basically it lads if you enjoyed this video and you found this very helpful please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later bye